It's critical to get regreasing frequency and quantity right. Overgreasing or undergreasing components can lead to equipment problems and lubricant waste. Overgreasing is a common failure mode. In high speed applications, too much grease causes excessive overheating and reduced grease life. Looking at these infrared images, the image on the left is a properly greased bearing, and the image on the right is an overgreased bearing. You can see that the overgreased bearing runs much hotter. Undergreasing can lead to lubricant starvation, accelerating equipment wear, which is what happened to this bearing. When determining regreasing intervals, always consult the equipment manufacturer or manual. The equipment manufacturer will know the lubrication requirements. In the absence of equipment manufacturer guidance, an effective regreasing strategy can be developed with your lubricant supplier when based on a range of factors. Once these factors are known, you can develop and execute an appropriate regreasing plan. You can also make enhancements based on empirical data, such as historical failure rates and or teardown inspections.